have seen the boxing up of uh, piston and connecting rod now we are going to box it up in place so before doing that uh, give a lubrication uh, to both current rod bearing and crankshaft and uh, do a inspection on the crankshaft so after uh, giving a lubrication coat what you need to do is very slowly insert the connecting rod bearing towards the crankshaft make sure you are not hitting anywhere so that the roller don't uh, get damage just push it towards the motor side very smoothly okay do not uh, hammer it just it should go by itself with hand only so the first uh, piston is in place so again we do the same for the second piston lubricate bearings properly just turn the bearing and see whether it is rotating freely or not check for the rollers or not damaged the same way but from the opposite end just push the control very really smoothly it should go by itself without any external pressure so once it is done okay both the piston is in place now next thing is we have to put the flange so for fixing the flange it is here already this flange has a small double pin also so yeah okay so as i said earlier whatever bolts you are using just give you an anti seize compound so you can see a double pin inside the on the crankshaft where the flange should match inside the double pin and then fix the bolt you can see the bolt locking plate is also placed over the double pin first do the tightening by hand okay you can see the double uh, you can see here it's a double pin just i want to show you the double pin again you can see very closely yeah the lock plate is inserted inside the double pin can see it's hanging the dark color one is a double pin so next is okay i'm fixing it back again fix over the double pin yes now bolt it screw it by hand tighten it by hand initially and then use the torque wrench to tighten it do not use more tighten always follow the tightening procedure tightening torque for the specified bolts and nuts and all those torque will be given in your manual so we are done with tightening once the tightening is done next thing what we need to do is you have to lock the locking plate you can see the locking plate is still open so what we need to do is you have to hit the locking plate from top side towards the screw so that the locking plate fits towards the head of the bolts the idea is uh, once the locking plate is locked the screw don't tends to rotate that means it don't unscrew by itself until unless it is done by manual thing so always use a long screw driver to do this uh, locking plate uh, tightening arrangement so it is little bit uh, odd place because uh, you don't be so comfortable when, when doing this uh, tightening job but you have to find a way to do it so what i suggest is always use a long uh, screw driver and uh, you hit the screw driver from behind the 
locking plate so that the locking plate will tends to move forward and then you can bend it so that is a easy way to tighten the locking plate okay so this is how we have to box up the piston and connecting rod in place and it is very simple job is very simple but only thing is we need to know how we have to do it the procedure how to do manual it will be clearly written each and every stage but understanding will be a problem for junior officers so that uh, i would uh, like to present this video so it makes their job very easy at least they can see they can get an idea of how to do all these things so okay done